Imagine a spaceship full of sleeping explorers, deep frozen would-be colonists of some distant world. Perhaps they're the last population of Earth, despairing that Earth is about to be destroyed, sending out a colony to look for another planet anywhere in order to carry on humanity. Imagine that the spaceship turns out to be almost unthinkably lucky. It does chance to arrive at one of the very, very rare planets capable of sustaining our kind of life, a planet of the right temperature with oxygen and so on. The passengers wake up and stumble out into the light and they see a beautiful world of waterfalls, green leaves, mountains, colored animals and bird-like creatures flitting about. Can you imagine how it would feel if you woke up, perhaps after a hundred million years of sleep in a spaceship, and found yourself on such a world? A whole new world, a world that you, such as you could live on, a beautiful world. You'd surely bless your luck in arriving on such a rare world, walk around in a daze, a trance, unable to believe the wonders that met your eyes and ears. The story asks for too much luck, it would never happen. And yet, isn't it what has happened to each one of us? We have woken after hundreds of millions of years of sleep, defying astronomical odds. Admittedly, we didn't arrive by spaceship, we arrived by being born. And we didn't burst conscious into the world, but accumulated awareness gradually through babyhood. The fact that we gradually apprehend our world, rather than suddenly discovering it, should not subtract from its wonder. We are amazingly lucky to be here, privileged, and we must not waste that privilege. We live on a planet that is all but perfect for our kind of life, not too warm and not too cold, basking in kindly sunshine, softly watered, a gently spinning green and gold harvest festival of a planet. Yes, and alas, there are deserts and slums. There is starvation and racking misery to be found. But take a look at the competition. Compared with most planets, this is paradise. And parts of Earth are still paradise by any standards. What are the odds that a planet picked at random will have these complacent properties? Even the most optimistic calculation will put it at less than one in a million. But we, as individuals, are still hugely blessed privileged, and not just privileged to enjoy our planet. More, we are granted the opportunity to understand why our eyes are open and why they see what they do in the short time before they close forever. <laughs>